testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Um, I'm gonna, I like to say bold things. I'm going to make some bold statements about um, who the best 154 and one best 168 pounder in the world is. And a lot of y'all aren't going to like it, but that's okay. Um, we're going to get into that. Uh, but before we do, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the greatest and latest boxing news and rumors. All right, let's get uh, – also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, let's get into today's show. Um, all right, <clears throat> it's going to be simple. Um, David Morrell and Jesus Ramos are already the best guys in their weight class, and they could beat everyone in their weight class. And, yes, I know that features two pound-for-pound pound guys. I know that is Jamel Charlo. I know that is Canelo. I know that is David Benavides as well. Uh, Ramos and um, Morrell are already the best. Um, who do you want to start with? Let's start with Jesus Ramos, right? Like, Jesus Ramos. This one fight, which y'all didn't love, was the Brian Mendoza fight. <laughs> it's a lot better in retrospect now, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> y'all <laughs> y'all love Seb- Sebastian Fandora. He was so good. He was the most incredible thing that we ever saw in our whole entire life. Uh, he was just like, the, he was the, the best thing we ever saw. I mean, he was so good. He was the next all-time great fighter ever. Um, and then he ran into Brian Mendoza, and Brian Mendoza poster, posterized him, destroyed him. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm laughing, right? Because this is the guy who maybe won a round or two with Ramos. Maybe. <coughs> and and that was the guy that would gave him trouble. Okay. And he absolutely ices your favorite guy. But you're not ready to tell me that, that he can beat Fandora, right? You're yet to, you know, Ramos is next. He's 5'10", strong as an ox, right? And he's mobile. He's mo- like a guy that size. You don't expect him to have the skills and the athleticism that he possesses. He can box off the back foot. He can make you miss. And he, like, he's not just a come forward swarmer, right? Because that's what he looks like. But he's way more than that. Like he is next level special. This is a guy that started. Not long ago, right before the pandemic, was fighting at 140. That was a massively strong 150. But look what he's doing to people. He destroys Spencer. He destroys Vladimir Hernandez. Destroys uh, Luke Santa Maria. Right? Destroys Brian Mendoza. These are guys with high quality wins. I mean, these are top notch fighters. Uh, Ramos is, is already on that track. 22 years old. I mean, the kid's ready. He's ready. Yeah, do I think that he could beat Charlo right now? Yeah, he could box with him. And I, I, I don't think Charlo is good enough. Uh, little Charlo is good enough defensively to keep this guy off of him, right? He showed what he can do. He, he's accurate with his power shots, southpaw, line up, nail him with left hands. Like I don't think Charlo, as good as I think Charlo is, I don't think Charlo is ready for this guy. I don't see anyone at this weight class that can beat him. All right, I, I think next you're going to see him get Castano, and he's going to beat Castano. There's really no stopping him, right? Like, he, he's he's a southpaw, strong, agile, athletic, ton of skills, can box in all three ranges and beat you in all three ranges. I've been saying this since day one. He beats his, he would beat Zoo. He'd beat Charlo, right? He would beat Castano. He'd beat, you know, I don't know who he want to put Danny Garcia in with him. Let's let's do that. It doesn't matter. He's too big and strong for these guys. And the bigger and stronger 154, he's too skilled for him. He's already these are already the best 154 pounder in the world, 22 years old. This next generation is coming in. This next era of fighter is coming in like gangbusters. And no one brings in that next era of fighters. Quite like David Morrell. I don't 
I don't care what you want to call him. I, I know he's got a belt, oh, a WBA regular. Um, there, there is no one, ten fights in or less, better than David Morrell, who's nine and zero, seven knockouts. And there's no one at one sixty eight better than him. Yes, if he, and I don't. He says he's fighting Benavides next. Maybe he is. I don't know. Um, but he can he can beat Benavides. Benavides isn't going to pressure him down and wear him down. He's not going to run from Benavides all day. He will outbox and out and, and hurt Benavides, right? Like, if you can hurt Benavides, if you can stop him in his tracks. Like, David, uh, Anthony Durrell was having success with Benavides. A solid success with him. Not winning, but having moments with him. He was better. David Morell is at everything than Anthony Durrell. Like, can we just be real for a minute? He's not going to be able to walk in the front door and knock the front door down on David Morrell. David Morrell is going to stand up to him, and he's going to hurt him. He tries to walk in like that, the way he did with planting them, to David Morrell, he's going to get stopped, right? Like, Benavides is great. He's got issues. Yes, Morrell is good on the uh, – Benavides is good on the inside. He's not beating Morrell on the inside. Morrell is going to beat him at, at, all, three, at all three distances. And Morrell is blowing out good fighters. Yamaguchi, Gucci Falcao was a guy that y'all liked. I'm not saying he's a world beater, right? It was a guy that y'all liked. And I mean, absolutely annihilated. Morel is, I mean, something different. Like he blew up Alantes Fox, right? Uh, blows out Calvin, uh, Hendri- uh Calvin Henderson, he's blowing out people. One round, two round, right? Quick four rounds. If you can get past, you know, Lennox Allen went the distance with him, and that's it, right? Is any, uh, he's got, well, what other guy? The eight knocker, yeah. Lennox, uh, Lennox Allen is the only guy that, that's been the distance with him. And he didn't barely went around. And he won the WBA Super Middleweight Interim title. I think the regular title. It doesn't matter, right? Lennox Allen is a quality fighter, good fighter, uh, who got absolutely destroyed by David Morrell. Um, I, I, I'm excited to see what he can do. You know, I, do I think Morrell beats Benavides? Yes. Do I think he beats Canelo? Yes. He, he's tall. He's long. He's fast. He's explosive. He's powerful. I, I, I don't. He's gonna beat. He's gonna use. Um, Bavol's game plan: outbox him in a, boxing with him at range, throwing first, landing first, and backing Canelo up. And he's going to do so in the southpaw stance, which is going to kind of nullify a lot. Canelo's great shotgun jab is going to nullify Canelo's jab quite a bit. You know, this is a guy with a seventy-eight, six-one, seventy-eight inch reach. I understand Canelo likes taller fighters, right? But Bavol's taller. He didn't have any success with Bavol. You know, like, David Morrell is such a better fighter than Kovalev, who was beating him. I got knocked out in the 11th round, so it's fine. But, like, Morrell is something different. Morrell can run this, 25 years old, can run this division for the foreseeable future. For real, for real. David Morrell's next level. Next level. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, let me, before we get into that, am, 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 is this too soon? Do you think that there's anyone at 54 or 68 that can beat these guys? And, and tell me who and tell me why. Um, but uh, this next generation, it, 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 it's their turn. They're up. Right? You're going to see Haney beat Loma. Right? You see this next generation, they're coming in. They're up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. See, Charles right over my shoulder. See, he, he's, he, he's right there. Right? He's not beating Ramos. Um, <laughs> from, uh, please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um... Please subscribe uh, to the other channels while Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is February, no, it's not. It's April 25th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.